Hello everybody, this is a part two of the last video I made about mobile layouts. Um, this time around, I just want to go through two additional components that I didn't uh, show in the last video. After I made the other video, I, I was like, um, hmm, yeah, these two components seem like very important when it comes to layout. And I really want, I really want to show you guys um, how they look, how they work. Um, so, so far we have our bottom navigation and our, and our top navigation. There are two additional components that can make for some very cool um, user experience on uh, the mobile front. And um, yeah, I'm going to go through them here now. So I'm in the top uh, navigation and I want to expand a little here. So, so far I just have this avatar, right? So. The first component I want to show you is the draw component on mobile. So I first of all want to have a button so I can kind of toggle this um, door, right? So I'm going to make an icon button and then bring in the uh, yeah, bring in the menu icon here. So if we go up here and import menu from material UI icons. Should be good. Of course, I need to put it down here in the toolbar. And uh, just for good measures, I want to try to push this avatar to the um, right side. And since we are inside a flex container, I can just kind of make a filler div here and put flex grow to one. That should push. Um, the avatar over to the right. All right, that looks good. We have our menu button here now. Um, it's a black right now, so we could we can kind of change the color to inherit. That should make it white. All right, that would be cool. Now, um, for showing our draw, we need some state in here. So I'm gonna define some state at the top. And I'm just going to simply call this variable open. And of course, we want to be using uh, use state here because we are using hooks like this. And initially, we just put it to false. All right. So when we click this icon button, we want to call set open. And we want to uh, let's just put it to the opposite of open. And we do like do it like this. Just put an exclamation mark in front of it. That should be good. Before saving, I want to pull in my drawer here, and I'm not gonna pull in a just the standard drawer. I want to pull in the swipeable drawer here, and the swipeable drawer will cost a few more kilobytes to actually uh, import this, but we also get some additional functionality. And it's also a little more advanced when it comes to props, I'm gonna show you in a moment. So a swipeable draw, just like a draw, takes an open property that indicates whether it's open or not. But it also, you also need to specify on close and in on open here. And these, these are called when we actually drag the draw out from the left side of the screen. Okay, I'll show that in a second. Um, I'm just gonna put on close, I'm just gonna do uh, set open to false. And on open, yeah, you guessed it, set open to true. And then another property I want to make sure I pass is the disable swipe to open. I want to set it to false because I actually want to make some use of this uh, swipe to open functionality, which is very cool. So now if I click up here, we have our drawer. Right now, we don't actually have anything inside our draw, so we just get this modal or this backdrop even that we can click. So let's actually put something inside here. 
Uh, let's just put a let's just put a plain old span in here that says hello. And um, just to make sure that we don't get a whiff of like nothing, we can pass in some styling to our paper here, which is part of the drawer. So paper props, we can pass in style object and just set the minimum width to let's say 50 viewport width, just like that. This should give a better representation of the draw's visuals. So if I click here, now we get the draw, as you can see. And because it's swipeable, I can actually take my mouse here and kind of drag it away, drag it out, drag it away, drag it out, drag it away. And uh, if I click here, I can also do I can also do it like that, or click the backdrop to get it away. So there's kind of a few options here, and uh, yeah. Normally in this drawer, you put additional menu points. If these menu points at the bottom navigation and the top navigation is not enough, basically. A lot of advanced apps will have this draw out here because, yeah, it's a good place to put some extra options in there. Okay, cool. I think that was all actually for the swipeable draw. The next component I want to show you guys is the dialogue, and I don't want to show you guys the standard dialogue, I want to show you guys the full screen dialogue, which works really well on the mobile layout. So the avatar here can kind of work as a, um, a can I work as a, how do you say, an activator for this uh, dialogue. Uh, so once again, we need to state that kind of says, when is this dialogue open? So let's just, define some new state here. Let's call it dialog open. And we want to use the use state hook once again and we just want to initialize it to false. Uh, next step, let's just pull in dialog and then put some stuff inside this dialog. We're just going to put a span again that says hello dialog just to see if it works. And uh, yeah, just like the draw, we take an open property and now we want to set open to dialog open. And then we need this full screen prop in here. So it actually fills out the entire screen like that. And uh, yeah, just before we continue here, we need to make an on click on our avatar here that sets the dialog open to true. Just like that. Refreshing the app and attempting to click this avatar here will result in a dialogue. Very cool, fill out the entire screen. But yeah, there's a little problem in my opinion. This may be useful, but uh, it is useful, but it just seems like a little abrupt. It seems like, oh, suddenly the screen is white. And uh, I really like, I really like to use a transition on these full screen dialogues. And uh, to add a transition very easily, we can just add the prop transition component and then put in our transition in here. So I want to use a slide transition. And uh, I'm gonna define that component. It's actually a component that we pass uh, outside our top navigation. So I'm gonna, oh, just gonna define a const, call it slide transition. And uh, I'm gonna do something that may seem a little odd now. So the slide, so when we pass a component like this into this dialog component, we actually need to um, wrap it in a React forward ref. And then we need to pass a function inside here. I'm just gonna call it transition component, or maybe just transition comp. And this function will take some refs and a prop, okay. 
And in here, we can actually return the actual transition component. So I want the slide effect. So I can return slide here. And I want it to go upwards. So I can put in the prop direction. And then the ref we get from the forward ref uh, function, we can put it here. And then just put in the rest of the props like that, just spread it like that. And that should actually be all. This may seem a little weird, but there's a good explanation in the docs why this is needed. And it's also in the demos on the website. So that should clear things up a little bit. If uh, I save that and then try it one more time, you will see that now it's a lot cooler. <laughs> A lot cooler in my opinion. You see that animation. So it seems a little more natural now. One thing that's important when we do these dialogues is we need some way to kind of get back. So always when we make these dialogues, it's a good habit, I guess, to make a button here to be able to close it again since it's filling up the whole screen. I just like to put an icon button here at the very top and then pass in an icon that looks like a back, like a back arrow. Like keyword backspace is pretty good. And then when we click on that, we just want to set the dialog open to false. So that would be something like this. Just like this. We save it we can give it one more go and uh, I think we should be finished actually let's see so if I click here we get our nice dialogue we get a nice transition and we can close it and um, we can have a look at our menu here you can swipe it away if you want click here some more if, some more options some more settings we can adjust and also we have our navigation down here. So yeah, this is a very uh, common uh, layout used by some of the more advanced apps, especially uh, Google. If you have a look at apps like Google Maps and Gmail, they will have this type of uh, layout. At least YouTube will be using this type of full screen dialogue, for example. All right, cool guys. Uh, that was all for now. I uh, just want to make this second video to kind of show you guys these two cool components. Okay. Um, yeah, peace out. See you guys in another video.